A frightening end to a long distance high speed chase with a party bus as the driver slams into another car on a desert highway. Good afternoon. I'm Juan Fernandez and I'm Jasmine Veal. This is KKL 9 News at 4 o'clock streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. This all started in San Diego when the suspect jumped into the driver's seat and took off with the bus and the owner of that party bus was on the phone with me as this chase came to that dramatic end. Mm. <gasps> oh, just rammed right into the back of a driver. This is how the chase with a stolen party bus came to an end in Acton Tuesday afternoon, slamming into the back of another car just off the 14 freeway. I am just in total shock right now. I really am. The owner of the Top Dog Limo Party Bus out of San Diego, Susie Lutsky, was on the phone with me seconds after the crash as CHP officers took the woman suspect into custody. It's a woman. Wow. Lutsky says her driver was picking up passengers in Pacific Beach when the bus was stolen. They, he got, got out of the vehicle to go pick up his clients and somebody jumped into the bus. That quickly. And took off with it. We didn't have a GPS tracker there. We had a, somebody that called in to complain about the driving of the bus and, um, and going 90 miles an hour and swerving around on the freeway. And that's how we were. And she, the person stayed on the phone. At what we call dispatch. CHP officers tracked down the bus as it raced north up the 405 freeway. We got the call at 1135 this morning of this limo bus uh, being stolen out of the San Diego area at 10 a.m. And that's when our officers saw it and pursued it and fo been following it ever since here on the 405. Oh, and he's using his blinker to change lanes. Retired police sergeant Darren Wyatt says these pursuits are even more dangerous in high profile vehicles like this. Because of the high center of gravity, they can't do a pit maneuver on a, on a vehicle of this size. It, it, it causes all kinds of problems. At one point, the suspect avoided a spike strip. Just did not make it far enough out into the yeah. roadway in, in a situation like this where we saw very little traffic there. They'll get it out there, and as soon as the suspect goes over it or evo avoids it, mm -hmm. they, re they pull it back and retract it real mm -hmm. quick. Because the other thing is you don't want the officer to hit it. Eventually, it was this crash that brought the chase to an end more than 150 miles from where it started. Now, the driver in the car that was hit appeared to be OK as they were talking with those officers at the scene. Also, the owner told me the limo bus driver on the job at the time this morning is doing OK as well. Juan. Wow.